road is starting to take on a bit of stability now that we're using it every day compacting driving up and down so we'll see when the rains finally arrive which might be today by the looks of it I'm at the site here now and behind me over there down the road in front of the vehicle see the four poles that is the first structure that we started building and uh, let's go there so the intended use of this first structure is actually just to have a bit of shade to work under while we build while we set up everything while we do everything here and then when this is completed it will act as the first point of rain catchment and a little shady place just to keep the bike and so on and then behind the pile of sand and stuff there two bases or two concrete bases for for tanks two plinths so the one tank will be under the roof the other one will be the entry tank so we'll be taking water from the one that will fall under the roof this keeps it a little bit cooler i think it makes sense it wasn't really part of the plan but this port is long enough to fit in the 5,000 liter, but I'm gonna use two and a half thousand liter tanks there. Going back to the, the road crossing here. This is the entry point, and that goes down to the clay mine, where we'll be mining the clay. And in the front, it's the area that I'm busy preparing for the domes. It's taken quite a bit of labor to remove and remove and remove rock here still not done this is this is where i am right now we don't want to go in too deep we just want to get a toe into the ground because once we get to a certain point you get to extremely solid rock like this so when we're ready we will have this or these circles cleaned up to the point where there's a swathe of solid rock at the bottom and then we can start from there with the uh, drainage layers and so on for, for the domes. The stand is built for a 50 kilogram bag, uses a big pot at the top with our bottom. So lift it up, put the bag in with the bag, slip around this, and then throw your predetermined amount of mix in there. Your earth mix, stabilized earth mix anyway, and fill the bag. And then on the side, you can take it out or you can remove the stand and the bag will be standing there. But this will only work for lower layers 
once you get to a meter or a meter and a half you have to start with your bags on the wall fill them with your containers small carryable containers and then drop the bag over on the wall uh, and that is likely what we're going to be doing as it will be there's a few centimeters of elevation difference between this one and that one so the main flow will be connected the outflow to the bottom tank using this pipe which will run down here that's 40 millimeters run down there down to the dome area there we'll have a booster pump I'll show you that when we get down there now and that will be the initial water infrastructure as well as you know we can fill it from the old tanks from the old side through this pipe if we have to but we have the new well point that was drilled down there in the gully and we have that water there after rain so we will be able to fill these tanks somehow this whole area behind me here is the eroded clay bank or clay mine as we call it here and I did a little bit of digging here if you can see here behind me and found that it's pretty easy to dig in, into it using just a hand and shovel the clay is actually soft nice workable and I'm still doing a soil test you know in a bottle uh, to see what kind of percentage there is starting to look like it might be nearing the 30% mark So the earthworks that we're doing for removing the clay for the building process will also be planned well. We're not going to be digging anywhere and take it from wherever it's needed so that we can direct the water flow and maybe slow it down, keep it around for a while, seep it in and see if we can actually recover this area.